I remember my old life. I remember Kevin of 11 years ago just wanting to be seen, wanting to be somebody, wanting, you know, everything to just happen. And so to be there and just be so happy and content, it felt so amazing. This little man, let's just say he likes me to be holding him sideways while I'm like bouncing up and down and shaking back and forth like this. It is intense. It's okay, I'm coming. It's okay, buddy. It's a lot. So, and it, you know, like while it's an amazing thing and I love it, I gotta do work <laughs> and I can't always be doing everything with one hand and I sure can't do it bouncing up and down. So I posted on the Buy Nothing group. I know it's tight, but it has to be tight. I wish it didn't have to be so tight, but it has to be. So I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. So I post on the Buy Nothing group, if anyone has this, it's like $220 for this swing. I was like, let me just check it out, see if I can find one on there. And literally two people, one person was like, I have one, we'll give it to you, but it's in storage somewhere, so they gotta find it first. And then Jesse was like, well, I have one, you can borrow it um, until he outgrows it, which is fantastic. And it really just goes to show, like, people are so kind. Like, we're gonna head out and go pick this up. I'm really excited. Yeah. And also, I wanted to say, well, first, mask up. Um, <laughs> Definitely difficult doing with one. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Movie magic. Houston Street. <gasps> oh my God. We're here. We're here. Okay, I think it's right. Where is that one? I think it's right. Oh, wait. No, it's up here. Let's see. It's right about All right. here. Okay. It's raining outside, so I've got to get to do this quick. I think it's 7-5. I think it's this one right here. Okay, let's find out. Oh my God, guess what? We got all of these goodies here. It's okay, bud. I'm telling you, if you leave the pacifier in your mouth, rather than, you know, spitting it out, I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna work so much better. You just gotta leave it in your mouth. Okay, we got it all, I'm so excited. Let's get out of here. Let's get it home and get him in this thing, because it's gonna be fun. Be fun for me, be fun for him, everyone wins. Thanks, Jesse. So, you do tummy time, right? No late stay. You do tummy time, and I will put this together, and then hopefully by, can you go? Sit down, thank you. Hopefully by the time you're, I'm done, you can get in this. Wow, okay. Okay, you wanna get in it, bud? Uh huh? Ooh. Ooh, it's comfy, isn't it? Watch, the cries are gonna start. Oh my god, let's buckle up. Buckle up. Oh, yeah. I know it's so hard, baby, baby. Oh. Yeah. 
Wow, that's fast. <laughs> This is gonna suffice. If I know him. Yo, look at this amazingness. Still a little cranky, I just fed him and he's still like a little cranky from it, but he definitely calmed down way sooner than he usually does after eating. Cause he has a lot of gassiness and stuff like that. So yay, it might work. We'll see. I take that back. The pacifier fell out and everything started again. Looks like I'm gonna be holding him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Do I let him like hang out there for a minute? To see if it works? Do I, is it not working? How do you know? Trial and error, I guess. So I'm getting ready soon. We're gonna take a shower and all that good jazz. I'm going to show a house. It's a $650,000 house in Hawthorne. If you don't know Hawthorne, it's like sort of around, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I know it's exciting, but let me put it in. There you go. It's sort of around the Inglewood area. And um, those areas are actually, I wouldn't say that they are gentrifying, but they're, I don't know, maybe up and coming, not even up and coming, because they've been around, they're so, they've been around for so long. I need to get him showered, I take a shower, once I get him in the shower and I dress him, it's harder for me to take my own shower because he'll he'll kind of be awake and he can. There's more opportunity for him to get fussy. So if he's like calm now, I have to take advantage of that because I could. It's it's literally a matter of do I want to take a. God, I love this shirt. Be a little wild. It's so cute. I think he might wear that today. Oh my god! With this, no. Not with the black. No, I don't know. Oh, it's all just so cute. Anyway, um, so matter do I want to take a five minute shower or do I want to take, I don't know, a 10 to 15 minute shower where I'm actually getting a moment. No, you like, you like when I get to take five minute showers. I know that's what you like, but that's okay. You're worth it. Okay, let's do that. Where did it go? Did it fall all the way down here? There you go. Always to the rescue. Always to the rescue. Okay, so we just got here, pulled up to the home in Hawthorne. So clients are about 15 minutes behind, which is fine. I actually don't mind that because that gives me a little bit of time to go inside and just make sure the house looks very presentable. Uh, I'm gonna grab this guy and he's coming along with the with me for the fun. So that's what's going on right now. Um, we'll go inside, do this tour. Hopefully they want to put an offer. We will write the offer today. We'll get it submitted and then I think they're they the sellers want all offers in by Tuesday so we probably won't hear anything back until at least Tuesday with an answer. but that's that. so. Things are looking good for the day. He's passed out. Hopefully he stays asleep through this because obviously it'll be that much easier. I could just put him down on the side in his car seat and he can stay asleep. We'll go back home and then go on with our day. Let's do this. There is a ton of COVID-19 precautionary measures that they have us um, put gloves on and all that jazz to make sure that we are safe because we're entering people's homes. So. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till the agent gets back out here, find out if I can go inside right now. I think there might be someone in there touring the property. So we'll hang out out here. I do not think it is worth the money. Echo, turn off the heat. It's off. 
Okay. It's a little loud. We got the heat going. We got the dishwasher going. Every single night, I do a ton of dishes. Not a ton of dishes. A ton of, like, I wash all the bottles and stuff. But, um, okay. So, oh, oh, I'm going to have to show you guys my new, like, eating habit because let me, let me talk about this first. So, this sucker here, it's not worth the money. Thankfully, the Buy Nothing group hooked it up and I didn't have to buy this because he doesn't, if you're gonna spend, I think it's like 200 plus dollars. If you're gonna spend that money on a, on a swing, like I wanna be able to put him in it when he's freaking out and he like, it like soothes him like a pacifier and it doesn't do that. It, it actually like, it doesn't do anything. It's only, the only benefit I can see of it is if I've gotten him to sleep and I can't hold him anymore, it'll continue him sleeping or like soothing him while he's already, but that's not really, like, I don't really need that. I need like in the moment when I like just want to eat and I need to put him on the swing to calm him down or I need to do dishes or something like, or work and put him on the swing to calm him down. It doesn't really do that. It's really difficult for me to cook and to eat regularly because I'm a single dad. And I find that anytime I'm trying to like cook, it's like for some reason, I don't know if it's a smell, I don't know what it is, but baby ass just wants my attention. So I found like, I started trying to get like, I'll just do frozen meals. And I got like these, what are they called? Um, Amy's frozen meals. Like just, let's just throw stuff up here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, and they're good. They're like all organic and mostly vegan. Oh no, they're all vegan. A lot of them are gluten free. But the thing about it is they get really boring really quickly because they don't have much variety. So, my, I remember an old, an old roommate of mine who's also a good friend of mine still. He got freshly, and I always remember like there were a ton of, they were big meals, and they always like smelled good. And at one point he gave me one or something, and they tasted really well. So I got some, I got to thinking, I was like, well, why don't I get freshly? I can get that. You just pop them in the microwave for like three minutes each and they're really good. Everything on their menu is gluten-free and I can't eat gluten, it really messes my stomach up. So I got, okay, we're in the fridge right now. Oh my God, okay. So like, I have like nothing in here. Like these are bad, like none of this stuff, I don't eat any of this because I barely eat. Anyway, um, so bottles made for tomorrow. So these, I make the bottles late at night. They can, the can, thing says you can have them in the refrigerator for 24 hours so these will be gone by midday um so bottles for tomorrow but then i bought all of these freshly things. so these are they're like never frozen so they prep them you order every week so um i basically i spend it's be 88 dollars i think a week for 10 meals. So breakfast, I'll do like e like eggs in the morning, something simple that I can make, or like waffles, gluten-free raw waffles in the morning. Um, that I just pop like in the toaster, super chill. And then one of these for lunch and one of these for dinner. Um, so that's that. So like this is beef lasagna, home-style chicken, the beef lasagna. Oh, this one here, cauliflower and sausage, hella good. The other ones I haven't tried yet. So look, for those of you that are single and parenting and struggling to eat um, normally because you just can't eat. Oh, first off, no black man has a house without barbecue sauce in it. Okay, okay, okay. This stuff right here is amazing. Okay, so the weekend was good. Um, this is kind of all over the place, I know, but it is what it is. The weekend was good and I met up with my friend Steph today. We went to Aroma Cafe. It was really cool because I was thinking about how 
So Aroma Cafe is in Studio City, California. And it is this like nice little in like this little like villagey type of place. I went there today and I was thinking like, man, my life has changed so much. I used to go there with my scripts and read my scripts and study and for auditions and whatnot. And it was always this like, I don't know, this like trying to be seen or trying to be like doing the Hollywood thing. And I was there today with my friend and my baby and so content, just like, I was so happy. I didn't need, I didn't need anything. And there are times where like, I look at my life like, look, I write for Milo kids and like twice a month. And I had to tell them like, I can only do this once a month because, and they're not forcing me to do it twice a month. That was me, you know? But like, I was like, I can't do all of this. And the YouTube and my podcast and real estate and everything else and, and be on the two other podcasts that want me on their show. Like, and I'm grateful for it all, but I had to send them an email and say like, I can't do all of this because it's just too much for one person to parent a child plus do everything. And my brain is in this post, I'm sorry, pre-Kevin, pre, I'm sorry. My brain is in this pre-kid mode where I would do 50 million things and get them all done. And now it's like, nah, man, that's like, you, it just doesn't know. <laughs> because being a dad, it, it takes so much of your brain power that the extra is spent on resting, eating, and doing the most pertinent work that you, you, that you're need, you need to do. So I was at Aroma and just thinking like, my, how my life has changed. And I have these like benchmark places in LA where I remember my old life. I remember Kevin of 11 years ago, just wanting to be seen, wanting to be somebody, wanting, you know, everything to just happen. And so to be there and just be so happy and content, it felt so amazing. And as I look at acting and will I act again, there's a couple things that come up for me. And one of them is like, well, probably, you know, and two, like, I know, like, even YouTube is just so much fun to me. It's like, I get to entertain, I get to be myself. And one day, you know, S will be in school and I'll be able to focus more on those theatrical auditions that require a lot of my time and energy. But like right now, maybe like this season is just about being a dad. I'm really happy with life and where things are at. I really wanna really say thank you to the people that have commented, reached out to me on Instagram and in the comments on these videos and just thank me for this content because look, when I started this, if you go back to that very first video, it was all about adoption. It was all about private adoption. And I was gonna do that and that was the route I was going and I started my GoFundMe for that. And it just changed. It changed into something way different than what I ever thought it was gonna be. And those videos are just like real chill and they're, I don't know, they're not vlog style, they're just me talking. But I think they were needed for that time and they got me to where I'm at. So I don't know, I'm going to sleep. No, oh, I just want to be cuddling with baby S. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Bye.